What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Horizon. Let's get straight into it. She demanded half of his property. Only the court told her that her millionaire husband owned nothing. <laughs> I'm not signing papers, That's man. That's what you get. That's not my daughter. Don't throw I'm not him. paying child Don't support. We get divorced, right? Watching my ex thrive, it's a beautiful thing. She it's looked like Squidward's sister. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> really triggering for me. Did you hear what Tom Brady did to his ex-wife? Allegedly, when his wife filed for divorce, Giselle. she demanded half of his property. Only the court told her that her millionaire husband owned nothing. A parent. 200 IQ move for my boy Tom. What did y'all expect though? What did y'all expect? All of his property is registered under his mother's name. Because he transferred his assets to his mother, he technically owns nothing. So smart, which dude. Which means he doesn't owe her anything. <laughs> Ex-wife is pissed at her ex-husband for moving on quickly after she filed for divorce. Bro, you filed for divorce? What do you mean? You're getting mad he moved on. You wanted to leave him. This is the stuff I don't get, bro. Court notified me that my final decree of divorce has been approved by the judge. Congrats. No. Now, you're now you're probably a single mom, and it looks like you may even be a big bag, big bag. Just saying. Let's get the crocodile tears going. Come on, honey. That it sucks being alone. I come home and I'm alone. You wanted this. I go everywhere alone. That's what you I wanted. Don't hardly talk to him anymore. He's your ex-husband. Why would you? Get the likes up, gents. <laughs> I don't blame him. I filed for the divorce. Exactly. So I'm sure people are wondering, well, you filed. Why are you so upset? Why are Stupid. you crying? Stupid. Just because you make a decision that you think is going to end up making things better <laughs> doesn't mean that you have to give up the fact that you love that person so or stupid. that you did it because you were trying or whatever. <laughs> I've never met anybody like him and I've never loved anybody like him either. But you divorced him. But I don't want a divorce. What? I still am very much in love with my husband. Ex dating someone bro Pretty this makes no sense oh look the consequence of my own actions ex-wife divorced her husband to date chad <laughs> but after six weeks he told her that he wants a young woman instead and now she's mad intensely for the last six weeks and it was wonderful it was wonderful it was full we were full of conversation and laughter and friendship and all these wonderful things another one of squidward's cousins but for various reasons we're just at different life stages and doesn't necessarily have a long-term compatibility so i know it was the right decision for us to end it but i'm also sad because it was really fun and i don't want that to stop aka mileage she's a runner she's a track star it was fun come on you're grown your husband wasn't piping you like you wanted. You found this guy. He was giving you the business. And you thought it was all hunky-dory in a Disney fantasy land. Little did you know, boo-boo, he wants a younger girl. Stupid. <laughs> um, but it's also annoying. <laughs> that didn't work out. And I have to go back to dating. Because it's really hard. It's a harrowing confrontation between... Show you something's really hard. Between a man, his wife, and her lover. She's my wife, man. My name is She's my wife. It's almost painful to watch as 48-year-old Keith King struggles with his wife's lover as he pleads with her to come home. Steenie, you're picking him over me. You're picking him over me now. I don't want this. Now, this bitter love triangle has led to a shocking court verdict. Keith King sued his wife's lover and was just awarded $9 million. Here's Les Trent. That controversial lawsuit was heard right here in this courthouse. Keith King claimed that his marriage was in perfect shape until that stranger came along and stole his wife and ruined everything. Every time he knew I was out of town, he was coming into town. Attorneys Joanne Foyle Going and Dorothy O'Neill represented Keith King. You don't have to prove that there was a perfect marriage, just that there was some genuine love and affection in the marriage. Keith King owns a BMX stunt show that performs at NFL halftime shows in state fairs okay, across America. Cool. His 33-year-old wife, Danielle, worked with him as an MC. <laughs> She says the marriage was already in trouble before she became involved with another man. 
He discovered Danielle was cheating when he found flirtatious texts on her phone. Oh, I saw them from her phone, and I said, she's a married woman. Leave her alone. Don't you ever contact her again. But he says the affair continued for months. You need to get this woman wrapped under your finger. Like, what are you talking about? Getting mad at the guy for saying, hey, don't talk to my wife. Get your wife to not talk to these men. Stupid. Secret. Then last year, Danielle moved out of their home. Soon after, Keith went to her new apartment and was shocked to find the lover, Francisco Hooser, there. She's my wife, man. My She's my Her wife. Please. That is my wife, man. You need to stop. This is my Get the Tell likes me about up, that day you confronted your wife and her lover. If she had been in a car accident and I walked up on the car accident and saw her, you know, dead in the car, that's what it felt like to me. I felt like I just witnessed her die. Keith says he considers the $9 million award to be a hollow victory because he'd give anything for his old life back. There isn't a dollar. But see, let's go, let's go to this picture right here. Let's analyze this. The green line test, gents. You see how she's just, boom, he's leaning in. Like, he's got that lean in. She's standing here. This tells you who's dominant in the relationship. You can tell by the pictures. Look at Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. There's a picture where she, here, we'll even pull it up. We'll, we'll pull it up. Um, Jada and Will picture. But, like, the green line test. I'm telling you right now. But if you just look at basic pictures of them, like, bruh, he fails miserably. Fails miserably. Look at this one. Look at this one. This is the big one right here. This is a big one right here. Let's see here. Uh, um, yeah, here we go. Legs open, pee facing the world, leaning into her. Like, you see that? That stuff is real, bruh. And, like, if you just look at some of the other pictures of them, like, bruh, he's always leaning in. He's always leaning into her. Like, uh, maybe not this one here. Yeah, this one kind of. Like, look, he's leaning into her. The green line test tells all, buddy boy. It tells all. I'm telling you right now. You can see it from a mile away. And then you see with this guy, he's got the same thing going. It was, it was just a matter of time, buddy. Old life back. There isn't a dollar amount that you can put on it for what my, I think my family's worth. She's my wife, man. My name is on the that sucks, She's my dude. Wife. Watching my ex thrive. It's a beautiful thing. But it's really SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> Where's my clarinet? Triggering for me because I walked away with literally having to start over after 12 years of, of starting over of wondering if I'm going to be able to keep a roof over my head with my boys. And Get off your phone. Not being able to just go out and, and play in our backyard like we used to. Then why did you divorce your husband? Wondering if I'm going to be able to feed them. I'm not signing papers, man. That's not my daughter. Don't throw this I'm not paying child Don't support. We get divorced, paper. right? Excuse it's me. not my daughter biologically. You signed these adoption papers, giving these child the same biological rights as a child who is your own. Bro, I didn't sign the birth certificate. What adoption paper? What did I, I sign there, man? I got the papers. Okay, you got the papers. You ain't got no this looks papers. like a skit. Did he sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't sign the birth certificate. I didn't sign the birth certificate. That's what I'm saying. That's not my daughter biologically. Her daddy, he, her daddy in jail. But she was there since she was born. Okay, what that means? I love it. You adopted her, though. I got the adoption papers somewhere. Okay, but what that means? I'm not paying child support. We were married for seven years. Just pull out the birth certificate. Okay, it don't, it don't really matter if we were married. Let me not. know in the comments. Do you think it'd be right if, let's say... Let's say you adopted a child, right? You got with a you got with a single mom. You got with a single mom, right? You adopted her baby, then she ended up doing something cheating on you. You got a divorce. Do you think that you should be in um, under wraps for this child as far as child support? Do you think that you should have to pay child support for a child you adopted? I guess legally, if you adopted the child, I mean it's your kid at this point. So I don't know. I think you. I don't know. It's weird. But if she cheated, I think you shouldn't have to pay child support. But if you know, you decided to leave. I think you should pay child support. Let me know in the comments. Should you pay child support for a child that you've adopted and not that's not biologically yours? I don't know. That's an interesting argument. Nah, it don't really matter. That's not my daughter. Like, I'm not about to pay child support. You you move on. Meet somebody else. 
then he's taking care of you and your daughter. You're getting double benefits. How did that sound? Once you adopt this child, it becomes yours. In the same but what I'm saying is, where are the papers at? I, I, I understand. Do you have the papers? She don't know where that papers is even at. That's what I'm saying. She's so unorganized. Why we getting divorced now? You're not let's organized. Do, First of all, you're the reason why my, my okay. brain is fucked up. Okay, whatever, but this, let's, let's, this is your choice. Let's pump the brakes. Let's pump the brakes. This is your we're choice. We're going to take a break. And we're going to come back in like 15 minutes. This is your okay. choice. It's 15 minutes. Can we talk about 15 minutes for what? I'm not signing that. You, it's you not my key. Papers. You're signing these papers. You I'm not signing nothing. No, I'm not. I just told you I'm not signing this. Since she's been born. This paper, I'm not signing. I'm not signing that. You get the know, this, is your, this is her decision to get divorced. So why should I pay for her daughter that's not mine biologically? Whether you think whether you think I adopted her or not, she really thought she was about to scat off and get a bag on this man. Yeah, yeah, I took care of her. Give okay, us fifteen, and we'll figure this out. Okay, so you might need fifteen. You know what I'm saying? You just thrown away seven years of being in your daughter's life. You're throwing away seven you years. Raised her. This was your idea, you not mine. Raised her. We were together. This is your idea, not mine. You know what? Responsibility is not the chat. Accountability has left the chat. We're not getting anywhere. Okay. Let's just take 15 minutes to cool off and come How back. How you don't want to take care of, help me take care of Charlotte? Yo, you being unprofessional. How you now. don't want to help me take care of you Charlotte? You're very unprofessional. So what, I'm supposed to tell to Charlotte? so what am I supposed to tell her? So what am I supposed to tell her? Tell her that we so get the divorce. Tell her that her mom's for the streets. She's a runner. She's a track star. And that she wasn't happy with that man, and she's going to go on to the next. There's going to be a new stepdaddy in the house. <laughs> tell her. Okay, I'm so not you signing just, that. You just walked out of my life completely. Yes, I am. That's fucked up. I'm closing this chapter in my life. Good you for him. You want a divorce? I'm closing the chapter on you and Charlotte. I'm not you taking care of either one of you. You never why I wanted the divorce? You never asked me why I wanted the divorce. Okay. Doesn't matter. You, you don't think it's something that you did wrong? No, I ain't do nothing wrong. You don't think so? I ain't do nothing wrong. A woman That's why I'm not taking care of no you reason. and Charlotte. I ain't do nothing wrong. No, you women divorce for no reason all the time. You probably got a dude. You probably got a dude or something. I don't know what's going on. If I had a dude, I wouldn't be asking you for no. For okay, no but check this out. I'm not about to take care of you. I'm okay, so she's it. pretty much just admitted that if she had another guy, she wouldn't be asking for child support. So it's mainly all for just the money. Does it's not for the care of the child? Charlotte, you gonna move on, meet somebody else. He gonna do the same thing that I was doing. Come in there and play, 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 daddy for your for your daughter. Play daddy like I've been playing daddy for all this all these years, and then I'm not about to pay for stuff. And then she gets stuff from two that she don't have two daddies. It's important to understand that when you signed the adoption papers, it became your daughter as well. Yeah, but I didn't where the papers at? Y'all ain't got the paperwork. That's why we need 15 minutes to recoup. Okay, man, y'all go recoup. 15 minutes go recoup. Go recoup. I'll be here. Y'all, 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 me to leave. Y'all, the king speak. Leave. It's probably in the other binder. Okay, let's just get the other binder. That's just crazy how he spent seven years with our daughter. My baby daddy is in jail. Yeah, I spent a whole lot of money on y'all too. I ain't spending no more money. And I didn't ask you to do it. I this is why I say, ladies, when you become a single mother, you don't do better than your baby daddy. That's where the bar is. You gave this man the highest honor on earth. You gave him your fertility, your youth, your womb, your beauty. You gave him all of that. And you expect another man to come in and play another man's safe game? Are you stupid? What are you talking about? The massive amount of responsibility that goes into being a step parent is enormous. Shout out to anybody that actually has become a step parent. I, I know it's hard. I had step parents growing up. They were okay. You know what I mean? It was cool. I never expected any of them to actually step up and be my dad because the thing is, you wasn't my dad. My dad was a degenerate, so it is what it is. But step parents, the good ones out there, shout out to you guys because it's really tough to be a good step parent. Usually the only way it works is when the man has kids and the woman has kids. They come together and they make one big happy family. But usually when it's a single mom, You're a single mom. it's really hard for a man to want to come in and save you. Because as we've said in previous episodes, let's all turn around right now, gents, and let's see if we have a cape on. I don't see a cape. <laughs> I don't see a cape. I'm not trying to play Captain Save anybody. I'm not saving anyone. Nobody's getting saved. <laughs> We're not saving you. I can't be your hero, baby. I can't be your hero, baby. Not being your hero. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest being a girl's hero. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Does somebody want a carrot? You want a carrot, Lokes? Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. All right, let's get back to the cinema here. Asked you to to do any of I what did you did. I did because I loved you. 
And you I don't love, love Charlotte? Okay, but guess what? So the love what? is gone. The thrill is gone. You know, like the the love is gone. gone. So love just is gone. Five. I'm closing the chapter right now. Like, go take your little break. Fifteen minute break. Go take your break. Come back. I'm not signing that paper. I will sign a divorce paper, but I'm not paying no child support. If I got, if I'm I gonna find the adoption papers, and you're gonna sign this. Paper. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna give me a lawyer too. I don't care. I'm gonna get a term lawyer. Too. The papers are signed. Okay, I'm gonna get a lawyer. I'm not. Even, we're not gonna discuss this anymore. I'm, I'm done. Good for him, dude. Y'all done? Because I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a lawyer. There's two ways to really handle this. You can get a lawyer, which is by your own regard you're able to do. But the more this is dragged out, the more it becomes more like child support and less like supporting Charlotte like you already have been. And one seems a little more expensive than the other. All right, and those are the only two. I'm gonna get a lawyer. This is this is, <laughs> where did they get this lawyer from? Wish. <laughs> This is my Timu lawyer. <laughs> this, this guy does not look like a legit lawyer. The money, I can afford a lawyer. I'm cool. So y'all can, so really can go talk about some different terms. You're not shit. Yo, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing all that? I'm over this bullshit. You see what she got on, bro? That's why I'm, that's why I'm, I'm cool, bro. She already thought. She really thought she, really thought, cool. I'm, she, I'm really she really thought she was going to come, come up on a bag. She really did think. She really did think. I'm not signing that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. I'm going to get a lawyer, bro. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Should a man have to pay child support for a child that he adopted when the mother initiates divorce? Personally, I think that's kind of bogus. If you're initiating divorce and you're trying to leave me, I don't think I should have to pay child support for that baby. I really don't, because here's the thing. While I'm with you, I understand I have the financial responsibility to take care of this child because that child is an extension of you and I want to be with you. We're in a harmonious relationship, therefore I will take care of that child. I will step up and be that step parent. But as soon as you divorce me as a step parent, I feel like I should have no legal liability over this child. The only reason I adopted them is because I'm with you. Because I'm pretty sure I can't adopt that child unless I'm married to you. I may be stupid in that regard, I don't know. Stupid. But I feel like you can't adopt a child if you're not married to their parent. Makes sense, right? Like, I'm not just gonna go adopt a kid and be like, no, nope, that's my kid. No, I can't do that. I have to be married to their mother or married, you know, to their father, I guess, in that, in that sense. Like, I have to be married to one of the parents or in a civil union or something like that, you know what I mean? Because the, the parent would have to give the rights over to say, yes, I will allow them to adopt them, which I can get. But if she initiates divorce, Bum voyage, adios, ciao. Go, you gotta pay for this kid now. Go get another baby daddy to pay, or go get your baby daddy to pay for him. Well, he's in prison. This is this is what this is what grinds my gourd. This is what this is the shit I don't get right here. These women will go out there and have a child with a man who's in prison, who's a degenerate, who's a druggie, who's violent, you know, who's a criminal. And then expect a nice guy to come in, a Poindexter to come in. <laughs> That's just a name I picked. <laughs> a Poindexter to come in and actually raise the child and be a good father figure and be a role model for the child. Ladies, if you're going to spread your legs for this man, you need to see the potential of him being a husband and being a father because you run that risk of getting pregnant. And if you're willing to run the risk of getting pregnant, you need to also run the risk of him being a good father to your child because it's a risk either way. But a lot of these women go out there, they crack their legs for chads, they have their chads children, and then they want the nice guy to come in and pick up the pieces. It's not happening. Men have woken up. We are sick of it. We are done. Step parents are not normal anymore. I feel like maybe back in the day they li a little bit was, but even if you look back, go look back to the people that you knew were step parents. Most of the time it's usually a guy who's kind of a simp. I never met an alpha guy that was like, yeah, I stepped up and I became a step parent. What? No, that never happened. I've never met a guy that's like, yeah, I'm so alpha. I stepped up and became a step parent. <laughs> yeah, I stepped up. I'm, I'm alpha though. I'm like, no, it's always been these kind of beta, like simpy dudes. And then these women, women that are super kind of like alpha, they're like, I make the rules. It's on my terms. You have to accept my child before you accept me. We're a package deal package deal your snot nosed brat ain't doing nothing for me and i'm gonna have to pay for them yeah no that, that's not a package deal for me that's a liability maybe you're an asset but that's a liability but see this is what these single moms don't think they don't think about how their child can be a liability to the next man to the stepdad they think oh my child's an asset because my child's an, a an extension of me 
I'm sorry, but if you have a nine-year-old, they're not an asset. They're a liability. They're going to break stuff, mess things up. I can't discipline them. They're not going to listen to my authority. Like, And then when you leave, it's a wrap. I might build an emotional bond with this child, and then afterwards, I don't get anything out of it. It's a lose-lose. This is why I say men, go after women without kids. They have less trauma, less baggage, and you can go build your own legacy and build your own dynasty with this woman, as opposed to playing another man's save game, which I'm sure no guy wants to do that. Let me know in the comments, would you rather be the first dad or be the stepdad? <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of you guys would rather be the first dad. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It's selling like absolute hotcakes right now. Uh, the ebook makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.